So one of the frequent questions I get asked about long-term after weight loss surgery is something about dumping syndrome. So dumping syndrome can be seen with some of the procedures, especially with patients with gastric bypasses. A lot of times after surgery, they may develop certain type of symptoms where they feel really sick after eating a meal. And you know, we get asked all the time about dumping because they think it may be related to all surgeries. It, it seems to be a little bit more specific to the bypass, but even in looking at that, 80% um, of patients don't dump after the gastric bypass. Right. I would say maybe 20% do, um, and it usually is associated with a very kind of um, high uh, corn, high fructose corn syrup food, or very kind of uh, processed carb types of foods. Um, outside of that, patients seem to do very well. So for example, if somebody's going out and they have a cupcake, they may be able to tolerate that just fine after a bypass, uh, but they have a cupcake with a bunch of frosting on it and they may dump. Some patients notice that they have a harder time more with like processed uh, carbs, you know, white pastas, white rices, white breads, but going to more whole grain and whole wheat, they seem to do very well with it. And so what dumping syndrome is, is where you eat these certain types of foods, if it is gonna affect you, may cause you to be nauseated, sometimes even vomiting or have diarrhea, sweating, heart racing, those types of symptoms. So if that were to happen to you, it's important that you would notify us. But a lot of times, just making adjustments to your diet can absolutely subside any issues with dumping syndrome. And what's interesting is those symptoms are very self-limited. You have them over a course of about 20 to 30 minutes and then you feel absolutely fine. And so it's interesting, some people will look at dumping syndrome as a positive saying, well, you know what, I had something bad and uh, um, this is gonna kinda govern me and uh, kinda keep me in check. And other people look and they think, well, I had something bad and you know, darn it, this thing's uh, causing me to feel bad about it. Um, but the reality is we don't usually see patients coming in that say, well, we're upset that we moved ahead with something like the gastric bypass because of dumping. Um, usually most patients are able to tolerate a lot of foods that are out there without that problem.